Hey guys, my name is Martin and today I would like to talk to you about editing portraits. Specifically about how you can edit great looking portraits using only Lightroom and how not to spend great amount of time editing. So when it comes to professional editing, like for example for a magazine or for printing purposes, I would recommend using Photoshop and Lightroom together. Photoshop for the retouching purposes and Lightroom for color correction and color grading. However, if you want to take great looking portraits for your Instagram account or any other social media platform out there, you don't necessarily want to spend an hour editing and tweaking that one portrait. Today, I'm going to show you how to edit a great looking portrait using only Lightroom in a really short amount of time. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the thing. So here we are in Lightroom and this is the portrait I will be working on today. So first of all, we need to adjust the exposure inside of the Basics Color Panel tab. The idea here is to get as natural looking image as possible, which means we don't want any hard highlights or crushed shadows. You can check the exposure of your image according to the histogram up here. If you don't know how to read histograms, leave me comment down below and I will make a video about how to read and use histograms for photos and videos. Now in our case, we need to get rid of those highlights. Then I will boost up the shadows a little bit. And I will also bring back those blacks to about 33. Now let's see the before and after. Well, I think that now I have a nice neutral looking image. So the next step in editing portraits is skin retouching. First of all, we need to get rid of all unwanted skin spots. Lightroom has a great tool for this job. So click on the spot removal tool and all you need to do is to adjust the size of the circle according to the spot and click on the place on the skin which you want to remove. Lightroom will automatically replace that unwanted spot with the most similar part of the skin. Now that we are done, we need to smooth out the skin to get that nice and even skin texture. For this purpose, we are going to use a brush tool. The only setting we are going to adjust for our brush is clarity. I will drag the clarity slider all the way down to minus 100 and I will paint on the skin. Now you can adjust the clarity of your brush to your liking. But I think that I will leave it as it is. Sometimes even that minus 100 clarity is just not enough and you will want to smooth out the skin even more. In this case you can create another brush and paint on top of the old one. This was the crucial point of editing portraits in Lightroom because for professional purposes you will have to do the retouching in Photoshop. You will use techniques like, for example, frequency separation or dodge and burn, which could be a little more time consuming than this approach. If you are interested in how to do the frequency separation or how I do the retouching in Photoshop, leave a comment down below and I will try to make those videos for you. Now it is completely up to you how you will finish the editing of your portrait. Next step is to color grade your image and basically add your own personality and your own style to your photo. Now I will show you what I will do without any presets. For example, I was using tone curve to add back some of that contrast. You can however use it also for adjusting the RGB channels and you can really create unique style and look to your photos this way. However, I find it a little bit difficult and confusing sometimes. Another great and powerful tool to add style to your photos and change the color scheme is the HSL tab. Most of the time I spend adjusting these sliders to fine tune the colors of my photos. Now to add a little bit of shine, I will create another brush to bring back life to those eyes. I will basically increase the exposure, highlights and maybe some of the shadows. Now I have to match the other eye with another brush. If you want to enhance the contrast even more, you can highlight the light parts of the hair so they will stand out even more. Now let's compare the before and after. Well that's it for today guys. I really hope that this video was helpful 
And if you like this video, it will really make my day if you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you leave a comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.